Welcome to Eric Auto Center. This is Ghana's number one automotive channel that we enhance, guarantee you an alarming motor vehicle experience. Today's tutorial, I am going to share with you about radiator coolant and the cooling system. How to even figure out and check if your car has developed overheating and it has affected the head gasket. We call it bone gasket. So I am going to demonstrate to you to know how to check if your car has a bone gasket. I mean, in case you have been experiencing serious overheating before and you are not sure about whether it has affected the gasket or not, this video will show you how to do it yourself. Check. So the first thing you have to do is to remove the radiator before you remove this. If not, it will help you and it will create a lot of problem because the pressure inside is very I mean, harmful thing that whenever it will attach your body and anywhere, it will give you a problem. So whenever you are removing the radiator cover, make sure the engine has cooled down to eight optimized low temperature before you can able to touch it. If not, escape it because the risk involving it is too high. And this is it. So you have open it and put it down. Once you have opened the radiator cap, then you come into the car and start. Okay, so you have started. Then check if the water is not, I mean, boiling up from the tank. That is how we check it. If the water is not boiling up from the tank, and this is a pressure tank, okay? So this is a circulation. This is a circulation, it's not boiling out. This is a circulation. This is not a boiling out, and this is a pressure tank. If it is a boiling out, the water will boil out with a pressure, sometimes it can heat here. So this is normal circulation, that means this car has no overheating. If you start it at once and the water boil out like that, that means the car has overheating. So this, and it has affected your head gasket, that means you have a bone head gasket. You have to change this thing at least once in a year, because there is a vacuum here, and whenever this vacuum sees, the water cannot able to circulate well, and this one can able to supply it. So it gives more pressure, constant pressure to the cooling system, in, and sometimes create overheating. So you have to check it regularly. If you don't know how to check it, I mean, go to your mechanic to check it for you, whether it is good or not. And if it is up, up to date, you are good to go. Another thing that is more important for cars and it is like a, it is like a plug that, I mean, hinder people for their car to generate overheating is using of wrong engine coolant and normal water. The importance of using engine coolant or anti gas coolant is that it protects the engine to rise its temperature to eight up nine. It is it reaches eight high level degree boiling degree session. The importance of using engine plant is that it helps the engine to rise its normal boiling degree session to reach its temperature. And the disadvantage of using normal water that the boiling temperature requires 100% only. When it reaches 100%, that means the system will not be able to operate cooling system again. But anti rise coolant can, I mean, I mean, boil up to 190 degree session. And if you have not mixed any water. Engine coolant with mixing water also have some, I mean, hitches, which is disadvantages, and it reduces the boiling system to 106 degrees Celsius to 10, 129 degrees Celsius. If you mix normal water with anti rust cooling, that is how it is. It cannot able to mix it up to my boiling temperature, which is 190 degrees Celsius. So I urge you to use full anti rice coolant without mixing it with water. And if you do so to make sure the possibilities for getting overheating is very high. And for those who are not able to use engine coolant and use normal water, that is why you encounter engine overheating all the time. And it's also not protect the engine block, it not protect the metals inside, and it can help you to I mean get fuel economy that is the fuel efficiency it always rises your fuel efficiency to its high but whenever you use the new engine plant the engine performance become good the fuel efficiency becomes low 
and it could tell the engine and metals, especially water pump and the cylinder head. These are the metal things that protect it from lasting. That is why engine keep lasting when you use engine clamp. I hope this video is very helpful. If you have encountered this problem before, make sure you put your comment in the comment section and make sure you share the video. Share to your family, friends, your social media platform, your loved ones. Like the video, comment as well. Let us see your comment so that we can able to do said videos and important use information videos for the future. If this video is very helpful to you, please don't hesitate to subscribe, like the video, share, let it go viral, and that is what we have for you about overheating, the importance of using engine coolant, the disadvantage and advantages, the import ad disadvantages of using normal coolant the do's and don'ts why we always i mean advise you to use engine coolant so that the engine temperature boiling will also stay on top and it will not affect anything inside it will also help you to save money because the prices of engines are very high in the market nowadays so for you to purchase in place an engine is not a joke at all so maintain your engine by maintaining it these are some of the things that require your engine to be I mean, last forever. So don't joke with engine coolant at all. If you are watching me and you are not using engine coolant, from today, look for a specific engine coolant. Look into your manual. Manual. You can see the specific engine coolant. Go and purchase it. Go to your mechanic. If you don't know how to, I mean, do these things, you cannot do it by yourself. But talk to your mechanic who will advise you and guide you to buy the specific engine coolant so that you can able to, I mean, change it. That is the health of your engine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Hello, fam. Are you looking forward to own your own car, or you have been looking for a car on the internet? or you want to order a car and it has been a burden the time is here for you to own your car without stress gy trading company is here to help you get your dream car right to your doorstep relax and take a look at some of their cars and when you are done i'll give you their contacts Eight one nine zero five six four seven seven four zero nine. Contact them now, and your car will be at your doorstep.